Hey everyone and welcome to Electric Design. Today we'll be designing the 2020 Tesla Model S. The current Model S needs no introduction, but it's important to note that the design hasn't changed since the Model S debuted back in 2012 and had been mildly refreshed in 2016. Though the Tesla Model S as a whole is a masterpiece in automotive engineering and the competition still lacks way behind in terms of technology, the exterior design still needs to represent progress and futuristic vision. I personally think the Model S is a near-perfect design, one of the best-looking vehicles in the sedan's fastback class ever produced. Now, with the rise and success of other Tesla models, the Model S became the alpha male of the pack and the best platform to introduce the next step in Tesla design strategy. I'm definitely going to keep the fastback shape as well as the curvy haunches while implementing new and bold graphics to enhance the electric properties and to transmit a dominant presence. Let's start with the front end design. My focus here is to make the front much more determined while enhancing the luxury and electric appeal with sharp and focused elements. I created grill-like shape with a wide and pointy oval silhouette in order to give the car a much more pronounced character, as well as showing out that this car is electric and needs no grill, but still resembling the original grill-like graphics elliptic shape. Every EV fan knows what a Tesla Model S is, but most of the public don't, and I believe a strong facial impression will help to drive the message home. I took some inspiration from the Ford Focus RS and the Aston Martin Vantage grille's shape. I kept the small air opening that holds the Tesla logo because it is a beautiful element and works really well with my pointy oval shape. Horizontal elements makes cars look longer and wider than their actual dimensions, so I'll add more of those like the thin chrome strip at the bottom of the side profile extending beyond the wheel arches like in the Range Rover and the VW Payton. The current headlights makes the car look surprised, like a human facial expression, whereas the eyebrow is raised up. I want to have a slicker feel, like in the Audi A7 and the Ford Mondeo. So I did a much thin and horizontal shape that gives the car a sophisticated look with a predator searching for prey impression, while enhancing the low and wide front fascia proportions like in the Jaguar F-Type and the Chevy Impala. I also added a light bar connecting the headlights with the Tesla emblem housing for a futuristic look like in many high-end vehicles. I also added some sharp lines at the bottom of the bumper as a continuation for the grill-like shape, as well as creating multiple triangular shapes by that. An edgy theme that will be repeated several times in this redesign. Triangle is the strongest shape in the physical realm, and the Model S is the undisputed alpha male of the electric vehicles, so it matches perfectly. And Tesla is basically using triangles pretty much everywhere. In order to give the Model S a complete and futuristic look, I decided to extend the greenhouse down beneath the current window's bottom edge halfway to the shoulder line. This extension makes the window's silhouette to look like it is floating inside the wide and massive greenhouse. Tesla is known for its gigantic windows and it seems like a required evolution and lined up with some similar approach designs from other high-end concept cars from the likes of Mercedes, Byton, and Lucid. We continue along with the metal parts of the side profile. I added much more sharp and pronounced lines stretching from the front wheel arch to the back of the car and angled tightly and coming back to the front end, creating multiple triangular shapes, while seamlessly integrated with the sharp lines at the side of the front bumper separated only by the wheel. Another element I want to update is the side camera chrome housing. I kept the triangular shape, but mirrored it in order to make this element look like a piece of jewelry, with a floaty feel, therefore it doesn't have an horizontal base. For last, we will go back to the greenhouse. The current window silhouette is excellent, with a nice leaf shape, but I want to minimize the chrome frame signature 
so I deleted the lower section, which also makes this side profile cleaner and enhance the floaty feel of the door's top edge, combined in a two layers body type. I also deleted the side mirrors and kept a little arm for a dedicated camera for the interior display like in the Audi e-tron. And of course, no future electric car is complete without the future filter. There you go, the 2020 Tesla Model S refresh. Who said electric cars are boring? There's a ton of electric designs coming your way, so stay tuned and hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching and I'll see you the next time.